With an SCTV with Chris Agata following today's 1 1 draw at Hemel Hempstead. Aggie, what, how do you assess that one? Uh, well, it's interesting because when you get a late equaliser like that, it can often feel like a, I think there's different types of draws. There's winning draws and there's losing draws, isn't there? Uh, and I think when you get a late equaliser like that, you can, you can tend to feel like it's a, more of a positive result and winning draw point gains whatever you want to call it but um, I just feel like we had so much of the football today and we were so dominant um, so much territory and we do feel like it's two points dropped rather than a point gained um, credit to Hemel um, they sat in a block um, counter attacked were awkward to deal with um, very energetic, um, well coached, well organised. So credit to credit to um, Bobby. Um, you know they were really well well drilled today, um, and you know it was it was difficult. It was it was difficult to break them down. But I still felt like we got into enough decent positions. I mean we had the chance early doors with Harrison. I think it's one of those games where you go one 0 up, it, it completely changes. Uh, the opposition's approach to the game, game opens up a little bit more and um, then I think we we have an awful lot more room to work and um, I think it's a bit more straightforward but as I said they got the they got the goal on the counter attack. Um, if you if you if you sort of uh, were to describe um, the worst way for that type of game to go it was that. And them getting a goal on the counter attack because then they gained a bit of confidence in what they're doing. Um, they've got something to hang on to. We're feeling a bit frustrated because we've got 90% of the football, but um, you know, every time there's a loose touch or loose pass or it breaks down and they hook it down the pitch and counter attack, it feels like um, they're, they're gaining a little bit of momentum in the game. Um, but credit to the players, credit to. I think I think it's very safe to say the mentality of the group is exceptional um, because with what we've already seen, obviously the, coming back to beat Western, the, you know, running up the Travelator at St Albans and then a 96 minute equaliser today, I think the mentality of the group is fantastic. So um, positives to take, um, but we feel like it's two point drops rather than one gained. You mentioned that they did make it difficult for you this mm. afternoon and I know it probably played into their hands as them getting that opening goal. Mm. The resilience though for, for the team, that's, that's twice now, goals and added time to, to salvage, well, three points on the opening day, a point mm. today. It, it's got to be a sign of a good side, right? Oh, absolutely. I mean, and the, and the thing is as well, we're playing some great football, like, um, you know, not just like, pleasing on the eye, but more importantly, it's effective football. Um, so there's no no coincidence that we've scored late goals and again credit to the resilience of the group but also that's a measure of the amount of miles we're putting in the opposition's legs and how we're draining them which means that we're uh, you know we are scoring late goals we're finishing games strong um, and that's, that's credit to the way that we we play and dominate the football um, yeah I, you know that, as I said it was it was in a very awkward encounter where we've had to show real patience and resilience to uh, put a point on the board, for sure. And that sets you up now for a bank holiday Monday trip to Truro. I know you're travelling tomorrow, so yeah. yeah, plenty of miles in the legs and yeah. and on the on the uh, travelling as well. So, how are you looking ahead of that one? I'm sure that that late goal will be a massive boost to the side. Yeah, I mean we're we're uh, I mean we're in there like the world's ended, which is which is. Um, which again is a, is a really positive sign. You know, we, you know it's, uh, it shows that we've got a group of winners there. And I think the, the fact that from the three games, if you if you look at the challenges we've faced, um, couple that with obviously all being away from home and uh, a lot of miles on the road, and for us to be unbeaten and as I said, playing some very good football, um, I think um, is, a, is a real positive. So um, you know, in terms of. Truro will we'll shuffle the pack, we'll change the team. Uh, like for example, we, you know, it, was, it was good today that we were able to, uh, like we rested Joel today, because um, we feel that's a position where we've got real strength and depth. Um, so he'll obviously come into the side, um, which, is, uh, which will you know, be a much needed boost and fresh legs and 
you know, we were able to make more changes from the bench today. I mean, I mean the, I thought when Jack Bates came on, I thought he was excellent, played a key part in the equalising goal. And that, that's something I would say as well. The tendency would have been on 95 minutes to get Hagey to zing it to centre back up top and play percentage football and ultimately do what Hemel wanted us to do. But the fact that the players kept playing the extra pass, kept working it and, and stayed true to what we believe is the best way to win games, you know, and us to to get the equaliser through that you know, great bit of play, great bit of combination play. And Spongy's obviously got another goal. So, you know, that's um, that's a real positive. And as I said, the, the lads that come on today, like Starks again has come on and been very good. Um, as I said, Jack Bates has come on and done well. Hutch has come on from the bench. So, um, you know, we're, we're in a position where, as I said, with a couple of additions, we're a little bit stronger, got a little bit more depth, and that will certainly be needed ahead of Truro. But, uh, Monday. Thanks, Aggie. All the best. Uh, thank you.